Hello, how to solve for s in this equation? s minus 1 to the power of 6 is equal to 2 to the power of 6. Solution. Then we have x minus 1 to the power of 6 is equal to 2 to the power of 6. Let's bring this to this side. We have x minus 1 to the power of 6 minus 2 to the power of 6 is equal to 0. Now this can be written as s minus 1 to the power of 3 square minus this can be written as 2 to the power of 3 square is equal to 0. Take note of this that if you have a square minus b square, this is equal to a plus b bracket a minus b because this is in the form of perfect square where a is equal to s minus 1 to the power of 3 and b is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Then this can be written as s minus 1 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 bracket s minus 1 to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. There are two cases here. The first case is s minus 1 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. And the second case is s minus 1 to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Now let's consider this. Take note of this that if you have a plus b, that is a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a plus b bracket a square minus ab plus b square. In this case, a is equal to s minus 1, b is equal to 2. Now, we are considering this. Then this is x minus 1 plus 2 bracket x minus 1 square minus 2 bracket s minus 1 plus 2 square is equal to 0. Then this is x minus 1 plus 2, that is plus 1 bracket. The whole of this can be expressed as s square minus 2x plus 1. Then this is minus 2 times s. We have minus 2x minus 2 times minus 1. This is plus 2. Then plus 2 squared, that is 4, is equal to 0. We have s minus 1 bracket s squared minus 2s minus 2 s. This is minus 4x. Then plus 1 plus 2, that is plus 3. Plus 4, that is plus 7 is equal to 0. There are two cases here. The first case is s minus 1 is equal to 0. And the second case is s squared minus 4s plus 7 is equal to 0. Then from here, s is equal to 1. Oh my god. 
Then from here we have s plus 1 bracket s square minus 2s minus 2s. That is minus 4s plus 1 plus 2 plus 4. That is plus 7 is equal to 0. Then there are two cases here. The first case is s plus 1 is equal to 0. And the second case is s square minus 4s plus 7 is equal to 0. Then from here, s is equal to minus 1. This is the first value of s. From here, this is a quadratic equation. Let's solve using quadratic general formula. S is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. And from this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 4, c is equal to 7. S is equal to minus bracket minus 4 plus or minus square root of minus 4 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 7. Everything over 2 multiplied by 1. Then here we have X is equal to minus times minus 4. This is 4 plus or minus square root of minus 4 squared, that is 16, minus 4 times 1 times 7, 28, over 2 times 1, that is 2. Then S is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 28, that is minus 12, over Two. S is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of minus 12 can be written as square root of 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by minus 1 everything over 2. Then S is equal to 4 plus or minus Square root of 4, that is 2. Then square root of minus 1 is i. Square root of 3 over 2. Then 2 here 1, 2 here 2. 2 here 1. S is equal to 2 plus or minus i square root of 3. These are also the value of x. Now let's consider the second case from here. From here, x minus 1 to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Also take note of this that if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b bracket a square plus a b plus b square then where a is equal to s minus 1 b is equal to 2 here we have x minus 1 minus 2 bracket s minus 1 square plus 2 bracket s minus 1 plus 2 square is equal to 0. Here is s minus 3 bracket bracket s square minus 2s plus 1 plus 
2x minus 2 plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, x minus 3 bracket x square. This we cancel this. Plus 1 minus 2. That is minus 1. Plus 4. That is plus 3 is equal to 0. Then there are two cases here. The first case is s minus 3 is equal to 0. And the second case is s square plus 3 is equal to 0. Then from here, s is equal to minus 3. Also from here, we take the square root of both sides. We have square root of s square is equal to plus or minus square root of minus 3. Then this we cancel this. s is equal to plus or minus square root of 3i. These are also other values of x. Therefore, our final answer are x1 is equal to 3, x2 is equal to minus 1, now x3 is equal to 2 plus i root then s4 is equal to 2 minus i root 3 and x5 is equal to root 3 i and s6 is equal to minus square root of 3 i these are the values of s you can see that here we have two real solution and then four complex solution i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel bye